It must come an insect. Yeah. It's the only that uh, could be farmed. The rest are just picked in the wild. <laughs> Ooh. All right, go oh. for it. Oh. Oh. I'm Darian. I'm in the travel business, and I love Latin America. I'm Mike, and I love to shoot video. We're two buddies from Chicago who decided to make travel videos. We're going to places with regular people. We'll tell you how to get there. Travel isn't glamorous. It's awesome. So we just met Alejandro, and we're going to go do a food tour, right? We're going to go to La Market La Merced, the biggest market yeah. in Mexico City in Latin America. Uh, the oldest market's been there forever. And so then we're going to go down to the pyramids. After afternoon. that, we're going to go to Teotihuacan with a different guide. We're going to the Battle of the Guides. Battle of the Guides. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the Battle of the Guides. It should be good. Right. Which one? Those two handsome fellows, you see them everywhere. They keep showing up. I don't know who these dudes are. But the building itself is what built in the field. Field. Four football fields. Yeah. So. You can't tell walking through this market how much of the scale of it, the size of it, is huge. You really can't get a sense in the video, but it just goes on and on and on. Well, and there's also these tiny little corridors, so that makes everything seem twice as big. Even though the meat market is another building. Okay. Do you want juice? Uh, juice. juice. Just juice shows up. I want some juice. Sure. Everybody wants juice. Who doesn't like juice? Juice is great. Oh, that's huge. Wow, right. You can't tell, but I'm zoomed in one mile away. <laughs> That's how big this is. And the sounds and the smell of are just so amazing and enticing. Yeah, this would be a good video for smell o vision It's very, you know what? Chicago is like New York, but. And friendly. <laughs> I know, I'm like, yeah. I see. I see, yeah. Boom. Oh, but see, look at the. It's, 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 I know. <laughs> Alright, go. So he's got this incredible cooking dish that is like a wok with a frying griddle com combining, boiling the oil, the the, uh, the pig fat and the outside ring, and then steaming the meat and the vegetables, and then cooking the tortillas and searing the meat on top on the frying part in the middle of it in this dome. And everything has the flavor of pork fat on it, and then also the flavor of the onions that are right there too. It's an incredible combination. The whistling guys. Get out of my way. I kept getting in their way. I felt so bad. That's because you're twice the size of the average Mexican. This is true. Yeah. It was really cool. It's hard to communicate the immensity of this place. I mean, just look here behind my back. This goes back, I, you can't really see necessarily, but this goes back like maybe three, four hundred feet. And that's just one aisle. There's an endless number of aisles that go through here. Right now we're in the Chile section. Wow. All right, now this is the vegetable section. <laughs> yes. This is this is market food. Yeah. The 
must come an insect. Oh. Yeah. It's the only that uh, could be farmed. The rest are just protein food. of the future. Insects. Insects. Wild. <laughs> Ooh. All right, go for it. Oh. Oh, they're a little like food. The name of this is Axayacatl. It's a kind of a fly that lives in, in the lakes. Mm. Just, just a pinch? Of, yeah. This is a fly. Axayacatl. Do you have the hormigas? Yes. It's kind of harder crunch. Harder. Yeah. yeah. Almost like a, like a seed kind mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. consistency. Yeah. Yeah, All right, well, oh, yeah, yeah. I got the worms that are indeed caterpillars, not worms. That's not for me. Larvae. They're really good. That one I, I didn't have one of these either. They're okay. Well, it's very earthy. These. Periquitos. What is that? What's that? It's another insect that lives in the avocado trees. An avocado. I remember this one. This one was it does okay. Taste like avocado. It tastes like bacon. Right. <laughs> it tastes like bacon. Yeah, it does. What? These were really good. Kind of beetle. Oropache <laughs> beetle. beetles. Yeah. Kind of like almost like a date. Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> The best beetle I've ever had. How many beetles have you had up to now? <laughs> One. <laughs> the butcher section, the meat section. Look at all that stomach. Future menudo. Meat market. Uh, well, let's just say the floor is a lot slippier, slipperier here. You gotta watch your feet. I'm the most popular guy here. My biggest regret is that I did not Got buy more here. candy. Got it. I like the candy. I didn't love the tamarind based. Got it. The sour stuff I got, the sweet stuff, I loved it all. Okay, so I don't know what to Loved it. So good. This is where I'm going to be stocking up on stuff for the family. Look at all that. All sugar based. In case you were worried that there wasn't enough market, then this is a whole neighborhood in Merced where there's even more market. Just goes down this street. Back there is where the original market is. Goes up all the way. I'm gonna start spinning so you can get every sick. direction. You can imagine more and more and more market. Okay. Okay. Um, can you so can you explain if she makes all of this herself? She yeah, she makes the ice cream. Uh, this is a traditional like Mexican ice cream. Nieve. That means the ice cream was not uh, a highlight. They make the mix of no. Things. Well, I think she was well, making it from with, some sort of industrial sugar mix fruits, every day. And they just freeze it, this, like moving yeah. it around. Overly. Uh, and that's how it gets frozen because all the walls of these containers get freeze. How do they make it? Explica lo que en español como los. Uh, ¿En español? Sí, tú dices en español y yo, yo te pregunto. Mm, bueno, 
Para empezar se pone el bote. For the beginning you have to have the recipient. Le picamos hielo y le ponemos tres capas de sal desde arriba. You crush the ice and you put three, la three layers of uh, salt and ice. Do you make this every night? Do you make, ¿Lo haces todas las noches o cuando lo haces? Temprano, todas las mañanas. And also, every morning. right there below us, Después el esposo la mezcla y se congelan en tres minutos dándole mucho. And also, you, yeah, you put the, the mix uh, on the recipient and you spinning around and that's how we get frozen. All by hand. Yeah, all by hand. Passion fruit, it's really tasty. Really tasty. What is the what is the one thing that most guys get wrong about Mexican city? Um, the most people get wrong about Mexican city. Most guys get wrong about Mexican city. I don't know. You make me uh, make me think. Let me think. It's not a dangerous city. Um, what else? It's a really cosmopolitan city. Some people don't think about it because yeah. Also, you need to think about. All the indigenous uh, nations that are also here in Mexico City. It's not just that Mexico is, is uh, one thing. It's we're all, we're allowed to think that it's a okay. cosmopolitan country. Thank you so much. He was Thank great. You. Great. He was great. Right. Now he's the editor of El Rosario Food Section, yeah, big yeah, yeah. newspaper. How are you? I'm Darian. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Mike. That's Hi. Mike. Mike. Hi, nice to meet you, Mike. Good to meet you. We're going to be filming a little bit. Yes, uh, Okay, that's it. Okay, as soon as we got in the car, blammo. Yeah, oh my god, passed out. Oh yeah. Nice space to sit down, air conditioning. How tall is it? Uh, in meters, yeah. six. Walk into the square. Look at that. It's like a mile. This is so big. This was once the center of the biggest city in the world. Yeah, there was like a quarter million people that lived here. It's yeah. bigger than London, Paris, Rome, anything. Okay, well that's that's pretty much it for, for this amazing for place. This amazing place. What the name is actually escaping me right now. Teotihuacan. Thank you, Teotihuacan. Yeah. Man. All right, let's go see the uh, Shrine of Lady Guadalupe. Let's go in the air conditioning. Let's go in the air conditioning. <laughs> And seven churches, all for Our Lady of Guadalupe. All right, the Shrine of the Lady of Guadalupe. Look at that. That was cool. Now my favorite part, the conveyor belt of observance. Very much. It's my pleasure. Journeys thank you, thank beyond. you very much. Fantastic company. Thank you. Thank you. Great job. Thank that was a great you. tour thank from Sergio. He was Sergio a great guy. Beyond. He thank was you. really good. He really knew his stuff. It was a great tour. Uh, what a knowledgeable guy. <laughs> really let's, just, let's just lay it on. Yeah. What an amazing guy. Dresses well, smells good. Yeah. We're back end, here on the Zocalo. End of day three. And yeah, Zocalo. The Zocalo three days Zocalo of intensive touring. I, I was pretty wiped. We have the big, I was done at this point. I there, did not want the to do big, any more. The giant touristing. National Palace and that yeah. huge Mexican flag, which. A Mexican flag as large as some American states. Or as large as some American car dealer flags. That's, that's yes. Yeah, I mean, that's that's impressive. So, what did we go see? Uh, we saw Xochimilco, we saw Coyoacan, we saw Teotihuacan, we saw the Palace of Fine Arts, the Anthropology Museum, uh, Chapultepec Park. There's so many things to see and do so here. So many things to do. And we just didn't see all of them, but we saw plenty of the Merced Market this morning. And you can check our comments for comments, check our comments for, or check below in order to get more, the read more about all the different places we went right. for lists and things, check all the different videos for all the different days. What's the basic lesson to take away from this whole trip? Don't be afraid. There's so much to do. Everyone here is incredibly friendly. In fact, a little sometimes too friendly. <laughs> and uh, you're gonna love it. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna love it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. It's so much fun. Take care. That was a good trip. 
Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot to pack in these few days. Yeah. But what a wonderful location. Yeah. What just an amazing place to visit. I, I want to go back, like, now. It was so cool. Well, we could probably maybe for the weekend. The, uh, the, the flight tomorrow morning. Yeah. Okay, let's go. All right, done. Uh-huh.